Marlene, it's crazy to think that we're finally here after all these years. It's even crazier that none of this might not have happened if neither of us had to go to summer school or if you hadn't showed up late and walked into class. Where the seat right behind me was being assigned. You were my first real girlfriend, my first prom date, and my first love. As most people know, there was a period in our lives where we were apart. I call those the dark years. Being apart and away from you was always something that bothered me, but I would never admit. The chance to get back together with you seemed impossible, yet possible at the same time. Then one day, I got a text from Trevor asking if I checked Twitter that day. I opened the app and see a notification that says, Marlene has started following you. I was freaking out. We started chatting here and there, and then our talks started to get more frequent, and then we started to hang out and go on dates. All my old feelings for you came rushing back as if they had never left. We had both grown up and matured, yet we're the same people that we both knew and loved back in the day. We were meant for each other. You are my soulmate. I promise to be there for you, not just in good times, but also the bad. When the time comes, I will be the best father I can be. And most of all, I promise to show you that I love you each and every day. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Clayton. The summer before our senior year of high school was the best summer of my life. It was the summer I fell in love with you. I'll never forget our last day of class. Not only was it the day you made me pee my pants with your goat impressions, <laughs> but it was also the day I got your number. I didn't know if our paths would ever cross again, but what I did know was that I didn't want to go another day without talking to you again. The way you love me is unlike anything I've ever known. Having you by my side, nothing seems too difficult to handle. I'm so happy to be standing here with you today in front of our family and friends. And with them present, I would like to vow to always fight for us. Because I know we can overcome anything. I promise to be honest and faithful as long as I live. I promise to let you order pizza more than once a week. <laughs> and to continue giving you a massage once a week for the rest of our days. Mm -hmm. I'll hold you through that. <laughs> I pledge to honor you, cherish you, and love you unconditionally for the rest of my life. I'm so lucky to be marrying you, my best friend. I love you. Marlene, do you take Clayton to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have, to hold, in sickness and in health, for better or for worse, till death do you part? I do. And Clayton, do you take Marlene to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have, to hold, in sickness and in health, for better or for worse, until death do you part? I do. Marlene, I always knew you'd be the Clayton on this day. I always knew it. You guys were broken up and you guys went your separate ways. I would send him little messages. Have you, have you talked to Marlene? Do you know where she's at? Have you seen her? I always knew this was going to happen and I'm glad that it's finally here. And sorry, there's rose petals in my eye. <laughs> Marlene, from the moment we met, we shared many similarities. I'm so happy to share this huge moment with you and witness you marrying your high school sweetheart. Clayton came into my life on September 23rd, 1992. He was the biggest bundle of joy. Through the years as he walked towards manhood, I watched him grow physically and my heart grew with him. Now that Merlene is in my life and my family's life, she's brought greater joy.
Now, if you know Marlene and Clayton, then you will know how special their love story is. Once high school sweethearts who separated for a while, but ended up reconnecting. The entire time these two were apart, Clayton would always talk about Marlene, and I knew he still loved her. I see the love you have for Marlene, and everyone can see how she brings out a different side of you, and it's so beautiful. I would say start and end each day with laughter, smiles, and I love you. Honor each other daily, and it will make loving each other for years to come a breeze. I love both of you from the bottom of my heart, and may God bless your marriage today and always. I wish you two a lifetime of love and happiness. Good luck and congratulations, and welcome to the family. I love you both. Welcome to the family, and I'm proud of you, little brother. Congratulations, newlyweds. Have fun creating and choosing a life worthwhile. Always remember to walk in love. Love me. I hope you guys always continue this beautiful love story you guys have.